Hi cats and kittens, it's Amy from Saver Salvage Scent and I hope this finds you well. Today I'm going to, in um, anticipation of the Academy Awards next week, uh, talk to you about perfumes worn by celebrities, namely film stars or artists. Um, this wonderful idea was given to me by my friend Peter, who is, like me, deeply into film and um, thought it would be fun. So to those of you new to the channel, this mostly focuses on all things perfume and fragrance related with an occasional other creative or DIY project. And to those of you returning, thank you so much for staying in touch and for supporting me um, with your enthusiasm and encouragement. And let me jump into the rules. So first I should say, um, this might be obvious for some, but um, I do this for fun. I am not paid to do this. <laughs> this is a hobby, and um, a few kind people have pointed out that um, I do not have high-tech skills, nor do I have high-tech equipment. I hope you'll roll with me. This is a pet project for me. <laughs> so, um, and for that reason, occasionally, I mean, you'll hear music in the background, because that's how I live. And um, you might hear everything from a motorcycle to a lawnmower to a cat. Uh, I live in the city and these are the things that go down. Okay, next, um, when I talk about, I'm going to talk to you today about research I've done around um, what film stars wear all the way back to like, probably like I think the 30s, 40s to today. Um, obviously, I have a limited list. I have a really long list to share with you. Um, however, I don't know about everybody, and there are some actors that maybe I didn't own the perfume or know anything about it, or um, I might, yeah, just not know about them. So I'm going to share with you a limited list. It's still, I think, 50, or maybe 35, 40, 50 deep. Um, I wanted to focus mostly on perfumes that I own, although once we get into the modern age, you'll see that there are some that I, a lot more that I don't. Um, and so those of you who might own these that I talk about that I don't own, I would love to know a little more. Or if you want to chime in and leave in the comments um, your favorite, uh, what your favorite star wears, that would be fun. Um, Based on today's theme, uh, I don't know if any of you know this, but I used to sell vintage clothes as kind of a side, pro side project in my life, and I thought it would be fun to kind of wear like 40s, 50s um, garb because that's mostly, I think, where my research kind of starts is, um, yeah, some of the old starlets and what they were wearing. Um, on that note, sadly, I couldn't find as much about what men are wearing. Um, that's just not publicized as much, I don't think. Um, so I would say 75 to 80% of this list is um, things marketed to women, but I definitely try to share both. So let's get into it. Um, I'm going to start kind of with, I'm going to do this in kind of three sections. One will be um, vintage perfumes or perfumes that were popular before I was born. I was born in 1971. And um, so I'm going to start there. Then I'll talk about perfumes that um, I was reading or learning about um, when I was growing up. So people who were wearing those scents. And then I'm going to talk about what's more popular today. And you'll see some different trends. It's, I thought this was really interesting, so I hope you do too. So I'm going to dive in. Um, as far as vintage perfumes, I am going to start with... Um, oh, and I, I have a new setup today that I'm trying. Um, I'm sitting in a corner of my room. I don't know if you can see, behind me is one cabinet where I store a lot of my perfume, I would say about half of my collection. And this is a big cabinet that has my vintage, mostly vintage, although some modern hat collection here. <laughs> so in a cozy little spot in my room. Um, all right, so, mm, all right. One of the first, I'm gonna, or the first I'm gonna talk about is Taboo. This was worn by Dorothy Dandridge and Ava Gardner. Beautiful. To me, this is really like class, like an oriental. Oh, and I meant to say, I'm not gonna talk about every note. I'm gonna talk very little about each perfume. Really my intention behind today's video is just to share what people have been wearing or are wearing, and then um, hopefully you'll wanna learn more and do some research on your own if you're 
so inclined, or some of you will know and own these, I'm sure. So Taboo, a great perfume still made. You can get this at discount stores. I think I paid three or five dollars for this bottle, for real, and it's great. A lot of people call it animalic. I think it smells amazing, incredible. I think it does have civet or something in it. So uh, Dorothy Dandridge and Ava Gardner. I would say, as far as the vintage perfumes and the kind of old Hollywood stars, I would say the house that I read about most was Guerlain, not surprising. Um, oh, sorry, one, one before I dive into Guerlain. Um, I read that um, Ava Gardner also wore uh, Fleur de Racaille by Caron. Um, and also, Beyonce wears this. Most of my research is gonna focus on actors. I do believe Beyonce has acted some too. But occasionally I throw in a musician because I can't resist. But um, yeah, Fleur de Rakai by Caron, worn by a few people as well. Um, and then once we get into Guerlain, gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people that wear it, that wore it, that continue to wear it. And um, you can guess some of the bigger, some of the more well-known perfumes that have been worn by a lot of people. So next we're going to talk about Shalimar, um, one of my favorites, smoky lemony, vanillic beauty. Um, a lot of people think it smells like cigarettes or old school. I think, you know, it was created around the time of the flapper and I think it was really one of the things it was created to be was something that held up to cigarette smoke. <laughs> so there it is, but I love it. So Shalimar, who wore it? Rita Hayworth, Bridget Fonda, Brooke Shields, Dionne Warwick, Joan Collins, Meryl Streep, Shirley MacLaine. It's a long list. And it goes on. I mean, I know there are more and more, I know there are many more people that have worn Shalimar, um, especially if you get outside of like film celebrities, ton of people. A lot of people who don't even know this perfume will actually be probably familiar with the look of it because they've seen it on vanities of their friends or their parents or their aunties, etc. cetera. Um, okay, next, another Guerlain, let me see, <laughs> is actually, if I had to rate my top three Guerlain's, this would be one of the top. Uh, this is an old vintage uh, display bottle of Shamad. Um, it also used to come in this beautiful heart bottle. I have one, I should have pulled it out, but Shamad is gorgeous. A more powdery, um, a lot of Guerlain's have like a powdery DNA, but this is a beauty. Uh, Shamad, so this was born by or worn by Audrey Hepburn, Catherine Deneuve, Glenn Close, and Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly wore a lot of things. You'll see some of the names of these actors and actresses um, mentioned again and again because some people really had long lists. All right, I'm going to move it along because I have a lot to talk to you about. All right, next, Lair Blue, another Guerlain. Mine is in this old, beautiful display, but um, this was worn by Catherine Deneuve, Patricia Arquette, which I think is really, I love her, Liza Minnelli, and Julia Roberts. Uh, Lair Blue, again, a really powdery, melancholic beauty of a perfume. Um, Mitsuko, oh my gosh. So I have a lot of friends that absolutely adore Mitsuko. Um, I find it to be a little challenging. I love it, but look at this bottle, y'all. Oh my God, gorgeous. Um, but when I wore, when I read who wore this, I was like, I have to give this more of a chance. So not only did Ava Gardner wear it, but Charlie Chaplin wore this. How freaking cool is that? Charlie Chaplin wore Mitsuko. What? My friend, Mrs. Press, I think is going to enjoy that little tidbit. All right. The perfume that I'm wearing today is Samsara. That is, it might be my favorite Guerlain if I had to choose. This is an old vintage bottle of Samsara. One of the per first perfumes I ever fell in love with. And fun fact, when I recently, about a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe, went to Paris and went to the flagship um, Guerlain store, they have a really great way to test perfumes where you smell them first on the cap before they tell you what it is. And so you can kind of have this like really innocent, un tainted kind of like sensory moment to see what you like and it's so funny because I, I took home two new perfumes that I absolutely like rocked my world there but one I kept smelling I was like I love this it's so good to me and don't know <laughs> um, this beauty samsara that I've been wearing since I was about 20 and just adore it one of my favorites um, who wears it Daryl Hannah Camera Diaz and Jodie Foster 
strong people. Um, Louis, I hope that's how it's pronounced, L-U-Y, which is kind of billed, I believe, as a unisex uh, Guerlain, and I would love to own it, but do not. Um, my friend owns it. You know who you are. Um, Diana Ross wears it, so I thought that was really cool. Diana Ross wears Louis. Um, another old school scent that I read about a lot of people wearing, but I thought I would point out that... Um, in this case, um, Bradley Cooper wears it, is Old Spice. This is my dad's old bottle. So Bradley Cooper's walking around smelling excellent and like carnations. Yes. So cool. Um, some Chanel's, of course, are mentioned. Uh, vintage perfumes that Starlet's wore. Um, Chanel number no. five. I'm sure you won't be surprised. A lot of people wore. But a few names that I've written down were Marilyn Monroe, famously. Um, Virginia Madsen, who I love and I think is so cool, and Sharon Stone wears uh, Chanel number no. five. Uh, Chanel number no. 19. I do not have the original. I have the Poudre. Um, it's worn by Catherine Deneuve and Catherine Zeta Jones, which I thought was really cool. Um, then there's some Lan Lanvin uh, fans. Um, Arpege. Gorgeous, woody. I think kind of oak mossy, um, was born, was worn by Grace Kelly and Jane Mansfield. Um, something I don't own, but would love to own. Um, I do not own many Creed fragrances. They're really, really costly, but Florissimo was famously created, I think for, um, Grace Kelly for her wedding day, but it's, it's a gorgeous floral that I've smelled before. I don't own, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, Miss Dior is a perfume that a lot of people have worn or wear. A lot of you will know this. This is a more modern interpretation, but Miss Dior been, has been on, around for a long time. Gosh, I want to say 60 years. Um, Angela Bassett, Natalie Portman, and Jennifer Aniston wears it. And by the way, another role that I kind of covered when I made this list is people who have had perfumes made for them or made by them, I have not mentioned. So like Jennifer Aniston has a lot of perfumes that she's created with noses. I, I haven't mentioned that because obviously it's, you know, I, I'm focusing on the perfumes that people make, not through their own marketing, if that makes sense. Um, Oscar de la Renta was another that is mentioned often, which I was excited about because I really, really love. Um, this is worn by Sharon Stone and Jamie Lee Curtis. I love her. Um, so beautiful, powdery, gorgeous thing. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Um, all right, and then there's a few that I'm going to mention that I don't own, but just got repeated again and again and again, so I thought they were worth mentioning, and gosh, I would love to get my hand on my hands on samples to try them out for this reason. So a lot of people wore Fraca, of course, um, which is like, is it a Gardenia? I can't remember which white floral. I think it's Gardenia, but a lot of people have worn that. Um, Ba Versailles. Um, which is another one that is known to be really an animalic but beautiful. I would love to try it. It was worn by Elizabeth Taylor, Michael Jackson, Susan Sarandon, um, a lot of wares of Anique Goutal, especially the old ones. Um, and then for, uh, many men have worn um, a scent called Gendarme that I have never tried, but I mean, so many people wore it. I mean, like, I looking down a list of stars, I just stopped keeping the names because I bet... 20 some men were mentioned as wearing that so that must be a really interesting scent a lot of men and women um have worn or wear um Guerlain's vetiver and um that wasn't surprising to me it's gorgeous um a lot of men wear uh Bijan for men Habit, Habit Rouge by Guerlain and many of the Creed fragrances so like gosh what is it called green uh, is it green Irish tweed Silver, is it Island Water? You can tell that I don't own Creeds, but anyways, they're super, super popular um, with film stars. Um, yeah, and so you'll see those names mentioned again and again and again. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into my years of growing up. So I would say kind of like 70s, 80s, all the way into early 90s. Um, so was not surprised to see this one, but was surprised to see how many people have worn it because now it can be found so um, affordably, and I'll um, link a video below, but it's Bijan, and it is one of my favorites. Beautiful, gorgeous, powdery, just 
everything in a bottle, I call it. It's beautiful. This has been worn by Angelica Houston, Annette Benning, Aretha Franklin, Bo Derek, Whoopi Goldberg, Terry Gar, Liza Minnelli, and the list goes on. Like, it was amazing to see how many people wear this. Um, something I don't own, but I have a sample of that is beautiful. Um, Catherine Deneuve, she, as you can see, her name's on this list a lot. She apparently loves perfume. Um, she wears a lot of um, Serge Luton. Uh, so one that was mentioned was Ombre Salton, which is, you know, considered one of the best perfumes really of all times. Um, I do not own Diptyque's L'Ombre Dawn, but I would love to. It's supposed to be a tomato leaf focused perfume and black currant. Um, it's something I hope to get my hands on soon, but that is supposedly worn by um, Lauren Bacall or had been. Um, Ungaro's Diva, I do not own that, but would love to have, um, is worn by Sophia Loren apparently for decades. Um, a perfume that I do own that was mentioned a lot um, is Chopard's Casimir, and this is worn by Cynthia Nixon. Um, was not surprised to see that this was worn by a lot of, and is worn by a lot of stars, but it's fun when I read about really affordable perfumes that are worn by stars because I'm like, that says a lot to me about how good they are. Obsession is one, and this is one of my favorite scents, and I think people these days think it's out of style, and I think it's so gorgeous and so sexy, just gorgeous. Um, this is worn by Whitney Houston, or has been worn by Whitney Houston, Rosie Perez, Liza Minnelli, Diana Ross again, and Jane Fonda. Talk about beautiful women, creative, wearing such a cool perfume. Obsession by Calvin Klein. Um, Isabella Rosalini is known to wear, I have just a little tiny bottle of Maggi Noir, which I think is out of um, commission now. Um, so beautiful, just a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. Um, Amirage is, is uh, a love of, oh, where is my bottle? It is somewhere here, it's a teeny tiny one. Is also worn by Diana Ross, you can see her name on this list a lot. She must really love perfume. Um, this is a favorite of a lot of my friends and friends' moms. Gorgeous thing. Um, super excited. Again, not necessarily a film star, but I, when I saw his name on this list, I was so excited. Um, a lot of people were listed as wearing um, Eau de Nemesin by uh, Clarence, which is one of my favorite summer scents. And this was famously worn by um, Freddie Mercury, which I was like, wow, I love it. I just think that's so cool to be like, that's how he smelled. So cool. All right, next, um, oh, I was so excited to read this. Uh, again, not, I would say not primarily known as a film star, although I think she's done film, more as a music maven. Um, Mary J. Blige wore, uh, or has worn Versace Blonde, which is, I think, the most underrated perfume. Um, I know it's out of commission, but still, the fact that people don't talk about it, look at this bottle alone. This is one of the most beautiful white florals I've ever worn. I love it. Yeah, Mary Blige is, has rocked this. So cool to know. Versace Blonde. It's fun when you read some of these two and you're like, yeah, I can see that. She's so opulent. Everything she does is gold and beautiful and fabulous and like can totally see her wearing this. Um, next, uh, my beloved, this might be my favorite and my sister's favorite, um, Chanel Cristal. This has been worn by... Um, Rachel Weiss and Juliette Binoche. So cool. I can totally see them wearing it. Classic, but modern somehow too. So cool. Um, again, I love when I read that stars read cheapies like, <laughs> or wear cheapies like the rest of us. They're just like us. Um, Nicole Kidman wears a lot of things. I've seen a lot of lists with her on it, but she wears tea rose by the Perfumers Workshop that you can find for like $10 a bottle. And it's fabulous. So cool. I love somebody who has money that doesn't just have to be swimming in money. Like, when it's good, it's good. T. Rose is great. Um, on that note, um, Selma Hayek, apparently, well, she wears a lot of things, and I'll get to. She wears one of my favorite niche houses, but wears Opium, which I love, by Yves Saint Laurent, and can now be found affordably. Um, let's see. Next. Um, Sarah, speaking of people who can get down with cheapies, Sarah Jessica Parker, not only does she wear her own fragrances, and she wears some expensive ones, which I'll get you to, but she famously wears Skin Musk, which I love. Again, dirt cheap, fabulous. I mean, if you like musk and you grew up in my time, 
this is a favorite. Um, some that I don't own that I thought were worth mentioning. Uh, Catherine Hepburn, apparently one of her many perfumes that she owned was Reeve Gauche by YSL. I am dying to own that. I've heard it's a great unisex scent and it's right up my alley with the notes. Um, Jason Momoa wears uh, David off Cool Water, which I think is cool because that's another affordable scent. Um, George Clooney wears Creed Green Irish Tweed. Not surprised. I can totally see. He has great taste, by the way. Every time I read about lists of his, I'm like, yeah. Um, and then Gwyneth Paltrow apparently wears Calyx, among many other things. But loved Calyx when I was growing up by Clinique. Don't own it, but just a really crisp, beautiful scent. So today, what are people wearing? Um, back to George Clooney. I don't own Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall. I own a really great scent that smells a lot like it, though, and I have smelled it. I love it. Apparently, he wears that and loves it. I can totally see that. Um, another affordable scent worn by um, a starlet. Uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones wears Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea, among many things, which I think is so cool. Another affordable scent that a ton of people wear today. Like I was shocked to see... So many people wear Kiehl's. A few of the names I wrote down were Charlize Theron, Naomi Watts, Julianne Moore, and Kira Sedgwick. Um, I read about a few people wearing uh, Dior Hypnotic Poison, one of my favorite scents. It smells like root beer. That's how much I love it. Um, and the people that I read about wearing it are um, Adele and Monica Bellucci, who is like, if you're not familiar, one of the coolest Italian film stars and truly one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen walk the earth. Um, then um, I thought it was fun to read that Cameron Diaz wears Vinny Benin by Comptor Sud Pacific, one of my favorite summery scents. Yes, you can wear a banana scent and feel sophisticated, and here it is. Um, Kate Blanchett was on a lot of lists, uh, not surprisingly. She <laughs> wears some perfumes that are beautifully uh, British, and one is Burberry Brit. Wonderful pear scent, so gorgeous. Um, I read that um, I do not own, I own a little sample, thanks to my friend, um, you know who you are, who gave me a sample of Donna Karen Black Cashmere. It has unfortunately been discontinued, and it's so gorgeous. Um, Kate Blanchett and Michelle Pfeiffer apparently wear that. Um, Margot Roby wears Deep Euphoria by Calvin Klein. I don't own that, but I thought that was great and worth mentioning. It's a total cheapie that you can find. Really cool. I have smelled it. It's beautiful. Another thing that I've smelled that I don't own that I love, um, Sofia Vergara wears a, a, a scent that's marketed to men, which I love, and it's Terre de Hermes. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, a little more pricey on the pricey side, um, Sarah Jessica Parker wears... Comme des Garçons, Incense Avignon. Um, I have smelled that. I love Incense Scents. It's incredible. It is so churchy and beautiful. Not surprised she wears that. She's just, I think, edgy and makes the coolest scents. Um, Sienna Miller wears Jo Malone. Um, apparently multiple Jo Malones, but one she has worn that I have owned but no longer own is French Lime Blossom because I ran out of it because it's terrific. Um... Will Smith apparently wears Vera Wang's cologne, which is awesome. I have not actually tried that, but would love to. Christian Bale wears YSL for home. Would love to try that because I think he's so interesting and edgy and takes the coolest roles. Um, one of the coolest things I've ever read about a starlet wearing perfume is Salma Hayek, like has a really interesting list of perfumes that she wears, but she uh, supports the niche house Alchemia, which I love out of Massachusetts. Uh, Shara Lemoreau is the nose for that house and just creates the most beautiful things. And apparently Selma Hayek wears a list, but one is called Les Mysteries. Um, I have never tried that one actually, and I own a lot of Alchemia scents, so now of course I must try it. But I love that she gets gives she has all the money in the world and she supports a really affordable niche house, and that's how good it is, y'all. You've been told. I swear, it's so good. Um she also wears Balenciaga's Flora Botanica. I do not own it, and I'm dying to try it. I heard it's a really interesting rose scent that has a lot of carnation and cannabis, actually, and I've heard it's beautiful. Selma Hayek also wears Bottega Veneta's Knot. And then I would say, again, there are a few perfumes that were just mentioned over and over and over again that um, I, didn't, I stopped writing down the names of the people, 
but many of today's celebrities, like dozens, wear either Kai oil, which is super popular and kind of like a clean scent, one called Child that my friend Leslie actually wears, and I hope you're watching this, Leslie, and then one called Clean Fragrance, and then a lot of people wear eccentric molecules. Um, I could not believe how many people wore those four scents actually. And it says a lot to me about the trends that like today's trends are really much more about, um, I would say scents that are sold as innocent or clean. Not sure about that. Um, again, it's all kind of what you're used to, but I really miss some of the old school scents that did smell kind of more like body or animalic. Um, but you can see that the, the scents these days are gearing much more toward like clean scents, which is kind of one of the trends. Um, and gourmands, but I was, I thought it was kind of interesting that I did not see a ton of uh, gourmands on the list. That could be though, because these other scents have had dozens of years to be marketed and written about. And so the older school scents obviously are not as gourmand focused. So maybe if we read a list of what people are wearing 10 years from now, we're going to read a lot more about gourmands. So it'll be interesting to see. So I hope this was fun for everybody. I would love to hear from you. Um, about, you know, if you want to chime in with a, a scent that you're really loving that I haven't mentioned that you know that a star wears, that would be fun. What scents do you think are overlooked or do you think um, if we read about stars in 10 or 20 years, they'll be wearing then? Thanks for watching. Hope you're well and talk soon. Cheers and enjoy the Academy Awards. Bye.